Hello and welcome to the Partygammon.com World Series of Backgammon coming to you from the Millionaire's Playground that is Cannes on France's glamorous Côte d'Azur. I'm Kara Scott and I'm going to be guiding you through a feast of world-class backgammon action. We've already seen the US team take home the Nations Cup. Now it's time for some heads up play as the big names fight it out for the second World Series of Backgammon title, the Riviera Cup. With this year's Nations Cup won by Team USA in a dramatic showdown with the Danish, the Riviera Cup looks set to reignite some old rivalries and give us a competition to remember. There's 200,000 euro to play for as the world's best players fight it out to get into those lucrative final stages. It's midsummer in Cannes, but things are just starting to warm up. Over 100 of the world's best professional high-stakes backgammon players have landed for the fourth annual WSOBG Riviera Cup. Many of you will uh, lose some time, but uh, make sure to play good and fast. Good luck. Reputations can be won and lost in a matter of games. I played a, a hopeless beginner that made a mistake on almost every play, and he crushed me. And with cash and careers on the line, you know it'll always be interesting. Better than Las Vegas. <laughs> The championship division is home to the high stakes end of the international backgammon circuit. Made quite a bit of money. Oh, that, that I prefer to make it like a secret. <laughs> Many of the game's giants have been eliminated by novices seeking to make their mark on the global circuit. I'm still learning this, uh, this game uh, because the game is always different. And to some, like backgammon legend falafel, winning is everything. You know, I gotta win one time. We join the action where 128 players become 32 and are ready to go head to head and roll their way to victory. It's um, back and back and at this most thrilling. And joining me again to analyze the draw and chew the fat is John Clark, one of the UK's best players. So John, what do you think of the competition so far? Um, it's tremendous, Cara. Um, we have a 1-2-8 draw in the main tournament, uh, all competing for the Riviera Cup, the fourth time that this event has taken place, and they are competing for a prize pool of around 200,000 euros. Okay, well, what's this Riviera Cup all about then? The players will play 13-point matches in the normal knockout format, uh, but this year it's against the clock. And the pick of this round is a clash between two of Backgammon's most consistent money winners, Bulgaria's Maria Krancheva and Morten Holm from Denmark. Playing backgammon since maybe nine years, but professional I played from five years. What is my advantage? I think because I'm a woman, that is a big advantage. Uh, sometimes in the tournament, men normally um, think that I'm not so good and make some mistakes against me that will never make against other men or a strong player. Well, I've been playing um, for about 15, 16 years, professional most of the time. I, 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 this is my 13th year, I think. Here. The, the clock, you might say that the clock might affect my game since I'm a slow, a slow, one of the slower player. Looks like it's a pretty soft field, so uh, I, I like my chances, yeah. This is going to be a thrilling matchup, and for me it's the pick of the last 32 matches that we're going to see in this tournament. Uh, on the one hand, we have Morton Holm, a super cool Dane with precision focusing, and it's rumored that he even uses a psychologist uh, to help to keep him focused. On the other hand, we have the incredibly beautiful Maria Krancheva. She is known to play with an extremely low error rate and generally regarded as the strongest lady player in the world. I'm really looking forward to this. Yeah, me too. And while those two are limbering up, John Clark is going to take you through the basics of backgammon. Backgammon is essentially a dice game played on a board consisting of 24 narrow triangles called points. Each point represents one pip of the dice. Thus, if you roll a four, you can move one checker forwards four points. You roll a six, you can move it forward six points. Doubles have to be played twice. Thus, a double two, for example, could be played like this. Two checkers from the back are advanced two points, and two checkers descend from the midpoint, but effectively advancing uh, two points as well. The overall objective of the game is to get all of your checkers into your home board and then borne off into the checker tray. However, as these checkers move around the board, because each player plays in an opposite direction, a conflict occurs. And just to ratchet up the pressure against our teams, they also have to play each match against a clock. 
Players can start and stop their clock by hitting a button to their right of the backgammon board, just like this and just like that. Now, players have nine seconds to roll their dice and make their play. If they fail to make their play and stop their clock, they start eating into their reserve time. And this could be disastrous, because if you run out of time, you lose the match. It's as simple as that. With high stakes comes high pressure. And I, for one, can't wait, so let's bring it on and go over to John Clark in the commentary box. Here we are at the start of this 13-point match in the last 32 of the Riviera Cup between Maria Krancheva of Bulgaria and Morten Holm of Denmark. I'm delighted to be joined in the commentary box by Mr. Will Cockrell, a sports writer and journalist and incredibly enthusiastic player himself. Hello, Will. Hello, John, and thanks for having me along for this um, absolutely fascinating contest between these two extremely well-known players and great ambassadors for the sport. I'm just seeing here that um, Morton Holm is the world's 27th best backgammon player. If you um, look at the uh, World Giants list, up a pip from last year. And Kranchev, tell us a bit about her, John. Uh, many people will consider her to be the finest uh, female player in the world. Well, I mean, they, they, in the European Open last year, she won that comfortably in the uh, uh, women's female flight. And um, but backgammon is fascinatingly the one of the only sports in the world, really, or game sports in the world, where the men and the women play at a, on the same level, so to speak. Um, famously, the Queen of England's granddaughter Zara Phillips is the best three-day eventer in the world at horse riding. And but here we have um, backgammon as one of those very rare examples of where men and women can play on the uh, same playing field. Unfortunately, we don't see. Uh, that many women in backgammon, um, perhaps uh, the televised coverage of these matches will attract a few more, Will. I hope so. I mean, it's um, the great joy of backgammon is it's such a straightforward and simple game to pick up and tremendously complex to play well, as these two do. Anyway, on to the game. Uh, amazing double six this by Morton Home, which gets him out of a lot of trouble there behind uh, Crunchyover's uh, four point. Uh, yes, it does, Will. This moves a lot of freight, as they say. Um, he's just deciding where to play the other two sixes. He'll slot the five point and the bar point. Presses his clock. Krancheva on roll. Krancheva playing the yellow checkers. Morton home for Denmark playing the red checkers. She was looking to make a five prime there, which is five points in a row. She's now got a broken five prime with a big gap there, so she's not overly enthused about that. Now Morton's wondering what to do with this. He's making the big play and hitting. Maria Crancheva is favourite to hit back here. And a 4-6, she does hit back. One of the outside checkers. Mor shot. Morton home needs to perform here. Otherwise, the cube's going to come flying, Will. Must enter. And there's a fan. Get out. There's a cube as well. Oh, and this is a comfortable pass for Morton home. He doesn't even think about it. He looks at the position, immediately presses his clock and Krancheva leads this 13-point match 1-0. Okay, game number two with Maria Krancheva from Bulgaria leading Morton home from Denmark. One point to nil in this 13-point match in the last 32 of the Riviera Cup. Okay, let's see what the early exchanges entail. And a 4-2 there. Obviously, you usually make the point, but um, Maria could hit, and so she did. So, a tricky double four for Morton Home. Not as good as it looks. Normally double four early on in a game can, can be a crushing roll. He plays this very big with a lot of blots lying around. What about making his five point? He doesn't do that. She 